So, uh, are you happy with your individual performance and the team performance so far at this point? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. I think my own individual performance, I am really quite unhappy with. I feel like, um, I'm not able to leverage my own, my own position and my own skill set as much as I would have expected to or wanted to. Yeah. Um, and as for the team performance, I think it's been, it's been a bit difficult because I think it took some time to, I mean, I, we've been identifying the problems that we've been having, but, uh, it's been taking a time to, it's been taking some time to figure out the proper ways and the proper channels to implement the fixes because, um, I think everyone comes from slightly different background and different way of seeing the game. So I think it just took a little bit of time to, to get everyone to, to think alike. And now I think this week we've been having a little bit of a breakthrough with that and things are starting to look a little bit more, more clean mm -hmm. and yeah, let's see how, how, how the series will go. Cause based of the, based on that, you kind of get to evaluate how good your season has been as a team. But I now, you know, comp compared to last year, uh, the fact that we're not, that we didn't go 10th <laughs> again, uh, it's it's a big win, you know, um, because the, the scars are still there for yeah. both the players that are uh, remaining from from that time, mm -hmm. and, and for the org as well. I mean, yeah, when when G two picks you, everyone was like, yeah, it, it sucks. Yeah, but at the same time, you have to play a good team, you know, uh, if you're so low in the standing. So we didn't really. I felt like we didn't really care so much. We were just like, yeah, in that moment, you're like, oh, well, uh, I wish I would have had someone easier to play, you know, but <laughs> but that's it. Um, yeah, game one, I think our approach was was good. Um, I think we had a lot of a lot of good moments, but then we we slipped up on on objective setup and then they punished us because, yeah. yeah, they're just like a lot cleaner around those. Um, game two... Game two, I can't really remember how we fumbled so hard. Um, I just think, you know, maybe losing game one or what happened over there kind of shook our morale a bit. Um, I don't think we were so surprised by the Zach. I don't feel like it threw us off so much um, because we knew that it was a real possibility that it would come. And we felt like our uh, our... You know, our answer into it was okay, at least for, for the top lane, but I felt like um, the things that we've been practicing maybe weren't so good because I think we were the only team to play Ezreal Yumi and in our own, you know, set of practice for, for the week leading to G2, we felt like it was it was a good pick. We've been having a lot of success with it. Mm -hmm. But then going into the game, it felt like... Um, I don't know, playing that game, it kind of exposed that maybe we're not really playing to our strengths so much and we're not really, you know, creating our own style or, yeah, again, playing to our strengths and figuring out how to play to each other's, through everyone's strengths by finding, you know, better meta picks and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. mm, I mean, we played them in the regular season and we had a good showing versus them. I think we are quite confident going into tomorrow. I don't think they showed, you know, like, great games because I also feel like They've been trying to have their own unique approach when it comes to uh, the meta read for this patch, and they fumbled just as just as we did. Um, yeah, compared to the G2 series, I think we're a lot a lot better prepared right now. Uh, we had a little bit more time to fix our issues because um, again, the series in G2 showcased that you know even if we had a, dra a perfect draft, we are lacking some fundamentals when it came to uh, you know. To mid to to the mid game and, and and yeah that's been a huge focus point for us for this week and I think that you know if everything goes okay or everything goes the way that we expect it to go uh, it's gonna be good uh, you know though I mean even when he was coming to the ADC I think everyone was trying to like hype him up and stuff oh that he has these funny picks or anything or, or everything and this cool and stuff. And like, yeah, sure, you know, it works in it works in ERL, and there's a reason it works in ERL, you know, because people don't play flawlessly. Mm -hmm. um, 
I'm not really, I mean, I already got hit by the fiddle six nocturne and I feel like there's nothing worse than that. And I felt like it wasn't really, it wasn't really that great. I felt like, um, they had tools or he had tools to do a little bit more and, um, he didn't, but yeah, I mean, one of the more difficult things is, you know, trying to, trying to predict, um, or anticipate, uh, what he will bring out because I feel like. His advantage, in a way, is the fact that he's a bit unpredictable with yeah. what he can pick, you know. Uh, pretty much anything can spawn. But at the same time, I'm not really, like, you know, concerned in, in that sense. I feel like fundamentally, or like in terms of fundamentals, I have everything that I need and all the experience and all of this stuff. Sure. And if he wants to bring the cheese, then I got cheesed many, many times and it's not, it's, it's not going to surprise me in that sense, you know? <laughs> for sure, for sure. 